there and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be trying out some makeup that I got from Aliexpress and also a piece of makeup that one of you guys sent me extremely kindly so the fabulous lady in question is Kerry she is so generous she sent me um some other things before as well uh, so thank you so much Kerry we are going to be trying out the Easy Brow Contouring Pen. Um, she got these from AliExpress. It definitely has taken inspiration from Benefit's, you know, multi-brow pen situation. Uh, so this is called the Easy Brow Contouring by the Beck Issue brand. And this is shade one. It's got four different kind of shades so that you can really contour your brows. I mean, what are we gonna be doing next? contouring vaginas of course like that's that's definitely the obvious next step so we're going to be trying this we're going to be trying the you can be butt plug no oh my gosh that just sounded really bad we're going to be trying out the by the way you can be i love you i feel like they've just literally cut all ties with me gonna be trying out their founded liation i also I like i've got a couple of eye products to try and i'm not sure which one to go with like i'm a bit like I've been blessed, let's say, with too many. Um, but I think actually I'm gonna go with this one. It's called the Diamond Eyeshadow. And it's not branded up as being You Can Be, but I got it from the You Can Be official store. So the same as with the Cageling palette. I feel like this must be one of their like partner companies. Um, I love the packaging. I think it is so cute. So I think we're gonna use this today and give it a try and see what it's all about. So to begin, to begin we're going to be trying the found deliation unfortunately me being the savage that i am i threw away the box which is really really unhelpful so yeah i we're just going into this not knowing anything about it other than it's got a fancy kind of packaging it kind of could be a bell or you could just use it to like hit people on the head that you don't like i do not in any way condone violence so we will definitely not be using it for that this is in the shade light and it's called the luminous silky liquid foundation so i have my o2o microfiber so i've got my microfiber fiber what so i've got my microfiber <laughs> the fuck the, it, this is my sponge and it's microfiber like there we go okay that worked uh this was from o2o i really really like it i definitely think it's a really good dupe of the juno one however however i've been using this like every day and one thing i've noticed it's kind of like the texture's gone a little bit ski whiff you know on like the main area where i use it it's not as fluffy anymore and i haven't noticed that happening with my juno one the juno one has definitely retained its fluffiness whereas it looks almost like the fluffiness is gone and it feels quite sticky um it does look very stained i have just washed it but again with my juno sponge um, no matter how much you wash it it never seems to get clean uh, i was going to make a vagina joke then but that would have really lowered the tone also i did do a video yesterday testing out loads of glitter like it's all over my makeup table it's all over my floor so there definitely will be some glitter coming and joining the party today so if you're wondering where is all this fecking glitter coming from it's just like i didn't hoover i've not hoovered yet so like i'm kind of enjoying the glitter honestly and i don't mind it being there so this is the foundation it's got a pump let me just pop like put my hair back oh, i've got my little i call this the bun sensationalizer and um, it's from aliexpress and it cost i think it was one pound 93 best one pound 93 i've ever spent in my life i think it just takes your bun to a whole other level of fabulous you know i feel like it's my wedding day every time i wear it so i'm gonna put my little ears on i almost poked my eye out then did you see that that would have been traumatic for everyone involved okay so let's give this a shake 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 okay we've shaked it right so pump a little pump what pump a little bit on my hand on my hand what no this is a sponge ah oh, she's coming she's coming okay she, oh she is here oh yes she is so there she is um okay just let's do let's do this guys i'm gonna do oh shanai shanai look at that drip hello mm -mm -mm -mm. drip face my name is Dripface, or oh, Lil Dripface if I'm a rapper, Soundcloud rapper, 
SoundCloud wrapper. This is going to drip on my new top and I'm going to be so pissed about it. So anyway, let's just stop the shenanigans. Okay, oh my gosh, I put way too much on. Way too much on. I put enough to cover my whole person and this is only meant to go on half my face. Holy shit. Seriously, guys. Holy shit. Wow. I mean, you know, I've tried quite a few foundations recently from AliExpress. And the one kind of common denominator is that they're all very light coverage. Even if they claim to be high coverage, they're not. They're lying to you. They're all very light coverage. I don't know if it's just because I've applied, like, enough of this to cover all the females in my office. It does actually look like it's giving me quite a bit of coverage. I have also tried another, another You Can Be foundation recently, which I actually quite liked. So I feel like AliExpress foundations are definitely on the up. I'm kind of expecting that this is going to be quite a radiant finish because it's called the Luminous Foundation. But actually, the Luminous Silk from Armani is like one of the most matte foundations around. So I've been catfished by names anymore. You know, I'm just not. Also, just to let you know, I have oily skin. It's not super oily, but it's definitely what would fit the criteria for oily. It just starts to sweat the moment it gets a little bit hot or even if it's cold but I'm just feeling a bit anxious then it will sweat so I would definitely say it's oily also say it's problematic troublesome high maintenance all of the above this is looking really nice I mean it's a very natural finish see if anything describes itself as being luminous you know it's not luminous like that's something that I've learned from being in the makeup game now for a couple of years it's not Becking loom, nothing's luminous apart from highlighters and and liquid luminizers, but nothing else, like like nothing else. I feel like I've got one side of my face done. Let's check out the situation. It looks like my skin on the other side, but better, really. Which could you ask for any more from my foundation? I don't think so. I mean there's not a huge amount of difference. I think the shade is really good. I think the coverage is okay. For me, I like it. Um, but if you're looking for like a fuller coverage, I don't know if this will be your thing. This is the side that I've just done. Hello. Hello. And then this is the other side. Hello. Hello. So now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. Although, I don't... Why am I telling you this? I'll just edit this out and just do my other face. So it's pointless. Sometimes I do that. I'll be talking away. And I'll be like, come on, you're going to edit this out. So, like, why are you even talking right now i mean that could be said for probably every single time i talk but anyway i'm not putting as much on this other side it is very light when it goes on but it definitely seems to oxidize a bit and um, also whenever i test out a foundation here on my channel i always like go away and wear it for a few more days because unless it's really shit like if it's dog turd then i will not wear it again i'll be like no feck this i deserve better than this this ain't going anywhere near my face again but if I kind of like it, then I, I kind of wear it a bit more just so that I can give you a really good, like, you know, comprehensive... My eye wouldn't open then. Did you see that? It was like, oh, hello. Oh, are we awake? Mm. Yeah, I want to give you a really, like, comprehensive, you know, evaluation of the of the foundation. So I will be going away and wearing this for a few days and then giving you a little, like, sparky update at the end. I always forget, you know, this under bit of my nose. I always forget it and then end up with like nothing on my nose. So that's that's always a disappointment. Okay, so I have the foundation on. I am going to just do a little bit of powdering. Like I'm not gonna do too much because I don't I don't wanna over powder and already this foundation I don't know, it is definitely more coverage providing than a lot what that sounds shit. I would definitely say that this foundation is giving me more coverage than all of the other AliExpress foundations that I've tried. Anyway, I'm just going to kind of loosely powder my face. I'm not going to powder too much, uh, but I'm just going to kind of, you know, loosely, loosely powder, just like pa pa pa, pa pa pa, just a little bit here and there. This is the worst brush for powdering. Like, why the feck am I using this brush? <gasps> Shit, guys! I've been using my fecking highlighter to powder, but do you know what? I can't really tell. So, and this is a highlighter that I really, really like. Like, this is a, a blinding highlighter. But it looks kind of good. It looks kind of good. Look at that. <gasps> mm, what? 
that was a mistake, but I think I could pretend it wasn't a mistake and totally get away with it. It's like, oh my gosh, guys, like, because it looks very similar to my, well, it doesn't, does it? I don't know how I made that mistake. Oh, anyway, guys, right, so I'm just going to bronze. I'm going to do my lips and then I'll be back and we're going to try out the brow contour. Why am I doing this? I just don't know. I just, I have no idea. Okay, so I've done some other makeup situations and it is now time to try the easy brow contouring pen so this is like one of those old school pens i do have one um that's very similar from uh, makeup revolution but this one is a, a series of lip liners and um, benefit did recently release something very very similar to this so we've got a highlighter a concealer a sharper and a deeper okay so i feel like should we begin by Oh, I'm kind of spoilt for choice here. Like, this is too much for me. I'm going to begin with the deeper one. So I'm going to push it down and then spin. Like, I love my uh, lip liner quad that I've got. But the only problem is, is that I appear to have lost a couple of the lip liners in the depth of the unit. Because this is quite the unit. I feel like it needs an annual maintenance program or something. Because there's a lot going on within this unit. So, yeah, it's a little bit, like, clumbersome. But, feck it. I mean... You know, you've got everything in one, so jobs are good, and you know what I mean. Okay, so I mean, I'm liking that. I think the shade is really, really good, and it's actually surprisingly easy to apply. Oh my gosh! Well, hello, Mr. Brow, and how are you today? I'm really liking that, guys. Look at that. I do generally prefer using a brow promenade because I just feel like you get a real kick you in the balls kind of brow with that. And whereas this is actually like not bad, it's easy to apply, it's going on smoothly, and I really like the shade. So next, we're going to go in with the concealer. Should I have done this first? I don't know. I feel like I should have done. Do you know what? This feels like a better unit. It just feels like a more kind of prestige unit than even my Makeup Revolution one. Oh, I say that. And like the concealer's not coming out, so oh come on, don't let me down here. I can see it very slowly. Okay, it's very it's coming out now. Here it here it comes. Oh what? That doesn't look like a concealer to me. Look at the shade of this. Oh shit. It's just blobbed off. Oh no, this isn't a concealer. Look at that. How is that concealer? Oh what? I was just about to put that all underneath my brow. That would have been a disaster. So that's not a concealer. I don't know what that's meant to be. Is it meant to be the lighter shade? But then we've got sharper. Let's see what sharper is. Okay, so I think sharper. Let me just put them all on my hand so we can see. Okay, so that one's sharper, the darker of the two. Uh, if I just go in with deeper, which is what we've just used. This one's deeper which I'd say is is the deepest, actually, which is great. And then if we check out the highlighter... Oh, the highlighter is the concealer. Can you see that there? So that's the concealer. Oh. So we have three kind of darker shades, and then we have, like, the concealer slash highlight shade. So I'm going to go ahead and use this shade under my brow. Is it doing anything? I just don't know. Ah, guys, I don't feel like it's actually doing that much. And the shade is, like, quite off. I don't feel like that's worth the effort, honestly. But, I mean, I really like the deeper shade. Um, should we go in with sharper? Oh, shit. Well, I'll just kind of pop that on the inner bit of my brow. In terms of an eyebrow product, I actually really like the first shade that I applied, but I don't really like the concealer element of this because it's not really the type of shade that you would conceal with, and I feel like the consistency of this um, isn't really so easy to use as a concealer because you can only get like a small amount on at any time. So, I mean, I like it for, as an eyebrow pencil, but... I, I would say that I probably only like like 20% um, of this. Is that the right percentage? We've got four, 25%. I like 25%. I mean, it's not an epic fail. It's it's just not. 
it's not a success, you know, by any means. But thank you so much, Kerry, for sending it to me. I don't feel like it's actually given me everything that it promised me. You know, I mean, it's given me an eyebrow pencil, but it's not given me highlight and it's not given me conceal. So, thank you. Done my other brow, and I do feel like my eyebrows are looking very bold today. I kind of like it. I really like this shade. I think it kind of works with the pink hair. Next, we're going to move on to the final product, which is this diamond glitter pigment. As I said, I got this from the You Can Be official store, but it's not by You Can Be. So this is what she looks like. Now, I was expecting this to be a glitter pigment, you know, like a loose glitter pigment, but it's more like a congealed mess. I mean, let's be real here. Like an eyeshadow jelly or highlight jelly, that just a jelly consistency. It feels very slimy and very cold. So, I mean, I don't really know how best to apply this. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna go in with my finger and just see what happens. Is this foundation doing bad things to my under eye? Maybe. Oh. It feels really bad, guys. Like, it feels really bad. So I've got some on my finger. Oh, it's actually looking really pretty. Can you see that star? I don't know if you can see it, but that's one of my glitters from yesterday. Pop this on. Oh, my gosh, she's really beautiful. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Wow. Guys, I'm really liking this. Oh, yes, bitch, yes. I love the shade of it. It's beautiful. I love how easy it's going on. Oh, my gosh, I take back every negative thing I said about this. This is beautiful. I mean, this, this is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, how could I ever have doubted you? It's almost got lots of little glitters in that just seem to kind of smooth onto your lid. Oh, guys, yes, bitch, yes. Oh, it's a bit messy, though. Oh, no. It looks like it's crushed jewels on your lid. I really like this. And I think the trick is to kind of like pat it on and then blend it out so you get the most from it oh it's a beautiful shade though it does look very chunky though look at that holy shit it dries quickly like i can feel it kind of drying already i can kind of blend it out with this before it dries i feel like it's dried already shit okay so you have like literally no time whatsoever to work with this but i think I mean, it's a look. This is a look. It, it is very chunky though, guys. Can you see? It looks nice like this, doesn't it? But then it's very chunky. Maybe I just apply too much. I want to like this, um, but oh God, it's looking so chunky. Do you see what I mean? Or do you think I could get away with it? I just don't know. Um, let me just see, can I brush it away? I don't know, I can't brush away these freaking bits. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and try not to apply too much. It does look really beautiful. I mean the actual formula of this is something that I've not ever seen before. So it's not, oh shit, I'm being so messy. So it's quite unique to me. Just when you thought you tried everything, you have not, you know. Okay, so I've not applied too much over here. It's very messy though. Like it's very, very messy. If I can get to it before it dries. Blend it out. I applied less onto this side and I do feel like it's definitely blessing me with not being quite so chunky as the other side. But do you know what? If I can get over the chunkiness, which I know doesn't make it look great, I, can, I actually kind of like it because it looks, it looks like lots of little gems on your lid. It's an extremely strange product. Like I've never, ever, ever tried a product quite like this before i think it looks really captivating from back here but then i think from up close you know you can definitely see its flaws just kind of generally like my life you know um i don't know why i'm showing you my finger right now but here's my finger Okay, so I mean the jaw is out a little bit on this one just because it is so different. I'm going to just add a little bit of eyeshadow just in my crease to blend out. You know one worrying thing? This does not seem to want to get off my finger, although I've not really made a great deal of effort to try and remove it. I've just licked it. I'm going to lick it again and, and wipe it on my sock. Oh, God, what if this stained on my lids? Oh, that would be... Oh, not great. So I'm going to just put a little bit of the Nightingale palette on from Pretty Vulgar uh, just to try and um, just make this look a little bit more wholesome, you know, well not wholesome, I want it to look like I'm a dirty skank, but you know what I mean? 
Okay, so do you know what I'm noticing, right? So this product dries really, really fast. And as I'm kind of blending, you can see like as I'm blending, you know, this other eyeshadow, it's just crumbling off. Watch this. It'll just crumble off. So that's a bit shit. Like that is a huge bit. It's a lot of shit is what it is. And look, it's all over my fucking face. So I feel like if you are going to use this product, don't. No, I don't mean that. But if you are going to use it, make sure you've done your crease work first because look, it does. And also it's interesting to know that it, it literally will just flake the fuck off. So that's shit. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I don't quite know, like, I don't think I can bring this back. Okay, I think that product's a bit of a disaster, if I'm being honest. Only because it's kind of so high maintenance. I don't have time for that. Look, you can just peel it right off. This is, There's a reason why I've not seen this formula before, and it's because it's shit. Could you imagine being on a night out with your friends? You're wankered. Like, literally, you've had ten cocktails too many. You're dancing, having a great time twirling around a pole throwing 10 pound notes at strippers and then you know you just notice your face is covered in black flakes i mean no that's not the kind of life i want to lead thank you no thank you okay i'm gonna go away try and recover this and i'll be back in a sec okay guys so the eyes were a complete fail and when something is a fail what do you do chuck shitloads of glitter at it so that's exactly what i did i used this beautiful glitter from uh, glitter eyes this is called love spell it's uh, so gorgeous it's purple it's green it's pink and it is the most beautiful glitter i've ever used in my life definitely i'm not a fan of this product you could even get over the chunkiness of it but the fact that it just like flakes off is it's a no-no. I frown upon it. I do not accept it. And I say, feck off to it. Like, literally. The foundation so far is feeling really, really comfortable. I'm liking the look of it. I don't think it's anything that's kind of blowing me away right now. the brow pencil it was good um, and thank you so much to Kerry for sending it to me but will I be reaching for it over my brow promenade no and will I be reaching for it ever again no probably not but thank you so much <laughs> sorry I sound like such a ungrateful bitch right now but Kerry understands that you know it's it's my job here to, well, it's not my job. I wish it were my job. But anyway, that, that's another story for another time. Anyway, guys, I think that I'm done for now. Thank you so much for watching. Speak to you soon.